Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, Citrine Dream Tarot. Um, Taurus, this is going to be a channeled message for you. Actually, this is going to be something a little different. So, um, as I sat down here, I was just like trying to meditate. I usually don't go in like knowing exactly what I'm going to do a reading for or who I'm going to do a reading for at the time. But Taurus, you guys came up and I really feel like you just need some advice right now. So we're going to um, pull just a couple of oracle cards for advice. So this is just going to be an advice reading. I don't know what that means yet, but uh, <laughs> as I pull the cards, <laughs> um, we'll get into it. We're gonna get, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know where we're gonna go with this, but uh, it was heavy on my heart. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. It may or may not resonate with you, but take what does and leave what doesn't. All right, Holy Spirit, what is the advice or message that you would have for Taurus? That you have for Taurus. Taurus, I do feel like you guys have some burdening issue right now. And I really feel like it has something to do with money or finances or um, home structure. Okay. All right, one more card, please. Um, Taurus, I feel like, I feel like, um, you guys are not, you're, you guys are like trapped in this energy of not believing that you deserve something or not believing that something you want is going to come to you because of maybe past energy. Um, and I, I really feel like you've been in this energy for a while now, actually. It's just, you're dealing with like self-worth issues. Um, and I don't know why, Taurus, that you believe that, sorry, these cards came out too, I'm just talking. I don't know why you um, don't really believe in yourself. Like, Taurus, I feel like you have a lot of goals. You have a whole lot of goals. You have a whole lot of ambition. You have a whole lot of drive. However, you just don't feel like, not that you're not deserving of better, but maybe that you can't sustain better. Maybe it's something that you think is always going to be temporary in your life. And you're just kind of like waiting for something bad to happen or waiting for, you know, things to mess up before you even give anything a chance. And I really feel like maybe because you have um, wanted stuff so bad and maybe, you know, things didn't turn out how the way you wanted it to be, it's kind of like, it's crushing your dreams. It's crushing your goals um, because you feel like you can climb, 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 but you'll, as soon as you get to the top of the ladder, you're gonna fall off. It's, it's kind of like you feel like you can get it, but you can't keep it because something bad always happens, right? I kind of feel like you're in that energy. And I really feel like, you know, what's coming to you, Taurus, is something good. I really feel like there's the universe is trying to give you a breakthrough in your life. The universe is trying to provide something to you that is very deserving, that you're very deserving of. Because again, I feel like you're very ambitious. I feel like, you know, a lot of you are like spiritually in tune, you pray, you seek, um, you manifest, but you just don't know how to maintain what you have because you allow fear to creep in and say, hey Taurus, you remember when you were happy, this happy last year? Look what happened. Everything fell apart. Are you sure you want to be happy? Are you sure you want to start this new position? Are you sure you want to fall in love? Are you sure you want to go to school? Like, you're not going to finish, Taurus. 
you're not this isn't gonna last Taurus and I feel like that's what's really creeping up in your mind and it's like spirit wants you to know that like you're secure you're safe your 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 goals your dreams are safe they're set safe you know um there may be things that you are pursuing um that you know, other things should take precedence over, or I hear God saying like, not yet, just wait. So this could be, you know, should I do this? Should I jump into this? And it's like, just wait, because a lot of you are trying to jump into something because you don't trust that the one thing you want can come to you. Hopefully that made sense. So like you jump into something else, you want this over here, but you're like, uh, let me just jump on this train first because, you know, this is the first one I see or I probably can't get to the other train. So let me just take this one. When all the while, the other train was right behind the one you just took. You get what I'm saying? So I really feel like, you know, we have um, prosperity lies ahead and your hard work is paying off. And these are both new moons. Um, this is a new moon in Taurus and new moon in Capricorn. So these are new things that are trying to come into your life as you release all of these old things, as you release the pride, as you release your past, okay? As you believe that everything you want is yours. Then we have prosperity. Then we have your hard work paying off. We have good things coming to you. But there is definitely something that you need to release in your life um, that's holding you back. And I really feel like it's just past experiences. Past experiences are holding you back. Past experiences are creeping into your mind and telling you that you cannot keep this. You will never do this. You will never reach the height that you want to reach. Let's get your affirmation. Holy Spirit, give me an affirmation for Taurus. Two cards fell. All right, so one card flipped over, two cards fell. It says, sorry, y'all. All right, it says, I am a miracle of nature. I am manifesting the right job for me with the right people to help me thrive. And I am open to new opportunities to express my skills and passions in the world. I want you to just think about that for a minute. Not only are you a miracle, you create miracles. You align with the divine to create these miracles in your life. It says, I am manifesting the right job for me with the right people to help me thrive. <laughs> miracles and manifestation. Like it's, it's, you know, and then I am op open to new opportunities. There's new things coming to you, okay? This is all about manifesting the life that you want to live. You just have to really believe it. So if you need to like take a screenshot of this, just so you can call these affirmations out daily, call these affirmations out when when um, lack of belief starts to creep in, when doubt starts to creep in, call these affirmations out. Because Taurus, you guys, you guys are manifestors. You guys are driven people. You guys are very, very driven. It's just... You're not as grounded as you should be. And that's simply because of past past uh, experiences creating fear in your reality of now. And, and it's, that is something that you definitely have to work on. It's definitely something that you have to work on and be mindful of. Be very conscious of when you are starting to doubt, when, you, when your emotions, because a lot of times we start to feel it in our body before our mind tells us what's going on. So, you know, you may notice a shift in your, in your energy. Maybe you're sitting down and you're looking at 
jobs. I don't know. You're sitting down looking at jobs and then all of a sudden you just start to feel overwhelmed or your hands start to shake or you start to feel really, really tired. Um, it could just because, you know, you're getting anxious and you're starting to like worry and fear that maybe you'll never find that perfect job or maybe, you know, you found a job, but like your body language is, is giving off that, you know, you can't get it. You know, so it's really important to listen to your body as well. And when you start to feel those things, just stop and be aware of it and say, okay, what am I feeling this for right now? Why do I, why is my hand shaking? Why is my heart racing? Why am I getting headaches? Why am I feeling so drained all of a sudden? So definitely check in with the body and correct the mind so that you can manifest the life that you need to manifest. But right here, spirit is telling you, you know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're protected, you're protected, you're protected. Everything that you want is protected. Now God's only gonna protect the things that are good for you. You know, so if you start to see like people fall away, you know, that that's normal in life, but don't allow those things to hinder you. You just have to believe that you are being protected. All right, Taurus, that is your quick advice message. Um, love you guys. See you in the next one.